Okay, I'm going to do just a uh, little tutorial on this uh, Sealand Air Raptor, uh, the H650 that I bought on Banggood. Um, I went ahead and you know, assembled it uh, day before yesterday. I made it yesterday out at the field, and today I'm just going to do a, uh, a little tutorial on how to set it up. Um, my, as far as myself, uh, you know, I've been flying for over 15 years now. Uh, I have probably 20 plus planes. I have a lot of hours of experience. And I have to say, uh, this, after looking at some videos and listening to what people had to say about it and not expecting a whole lot, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. This thing is, uh, flies extremely well. Um, and while I have just flown it off the grass, um, I haven't flown it on uh, off of uh, water yet, but I will say it, it actually does fly really well. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and uh, I won't talk. About, well, I'll just tell you, you know, as far as assembling it, it comes this ha wing comes off. This wing is off uh, and it just has this these wires for the lights that just kind of are dangling. But other than that, for the most part, oh, and then this. And this uh, this vertical, this rudder or vertical stabilizer just clips in and pushes forward. So wasn't any gluing required there, um, but it does require gluing the wings on, which I did. It has glue that's included. Uh, I use UHU Pour, which I feel, which I use pretty much on all my my model builds over the past few years. I uh, really like the stuff. Um, but, you know, it, it comes with glue. So there is a carbon fiber rod right here. And, you know, uh, what I did to assemble this is I inserted that, just kind of loosely set this thing up. The carbon fiber rod was actually a little too long, so I had to um, cut a little bit off the end, probably about a half inch off the end because it didn't sit in the channel well. And uh, it was just slightly, maybe just a quarter inch. It, was, it exceeded the uh, trough the uh, that's, that's already here. Now, um, so I, what I did is I loosely fit this together without gluing it, you know, saw where this was and I went ahead and glued this uh, carbon fiber rod through the fuselage there. Uh, first and then now uh, uh, and then I went ahead and put glue on the seams of the wing and You know well, I did one at a time. Don't don't do both uh, and uh, Let it you know positioned it now this the hard difficult part was to get this bracket uh, This is your this is your aileron and when it moves it, it lifts up this plastic piece well this aileron needs to slide in to this plastic piece here on both sides when you when you put the wing on it needs to slip in there do not put any glue on there I would not put any glue initially it was a pain in the ass to try to get this thing with sticky glue on it uh, to feed into that uh, plastic piece um, so this one I didn't do that I just went ahead and and it was easier um, because it's a tight fit. You kind of almost have to expand this plastic piece a little bit. But uh, once you get that in, then it's a matter of just making sure that your pieces are level. And they're pretty level. So uh, so anyways, that's that was that. Getting the wings on, getting the uh, lights fed through the plastic tubes. And then this these little plastic pieces come with it. So once it was... Uh, oh, and then I put glue inside the trough so that the carbon fiber rod is, is glued in as well. Um, you know, I did see somebody use a vi or posted or published a video where they used hot glue. I could see using hot glue on this, I guess. Um, you know, you just don't want it to get hard before you get, because there's a long ways here. <laughs> it goes from here to there, and you want to make sure it just doesn't get hard before you get a chance to secure it. But... You know, I, I think that would probably work just fine. Um, all right, so that's it. That's all the assembly. Wing, wing, um, these plastic pieces that go in right here. 
they're just covers they're just that's all they are is just adhesive covers and then this piece goes on the top now once uh once you got it glued together and assembled then here's uh what i would do uh i saw videos of people saying yeah it keeps turning to the right uh you know it's it's or or left or it climbs and anyways there are adjustments you can do and, and one of the first things that i did was to make sure that these are the same okay so on mine uh this in a neutral position so once i turned it on oh yeah here so i'll turn it on so this is important i think probably the reason why maybe i had a really successful first flight um okay so so when you put the battery in this battery actually goes up there not in the battery bay here so number one you want to make sure that you're you're putting the battery in the proper place it goes up there you want to insert the battery through the hole and up in the nose it's, so it sits up here otherwise your cg is going to be off if it's back if you just drop it in here it's going to be flying like that and you want cg to be correct for proper flying so make sure that you put the battery once you connect it so let's go ahead and well first turn on the transmitter attach the battery okay make sure that your throttles down I know mine wasn't but uh, and then just push that up drop that up into the nose and let's see here okay and then put your battery cover in and clip it down okay so now your battery is in the proper place so the CG is correct so that it's not going to be tail heavy okay and uh let's see here one of the things i want to go over with you is setting this thing up prior to your maiden flight a lot of people complained about that it keeps turning it doesn't go straight or it keeps climbing it doesn't fly level or 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 it, it, it descends and doesn't fly level so because of that because i saw that on youtube videos i went ahead and uh just checked the the control surfaces you got your elevator here you got your aileron here and your aileron here and you have and this actually has a rudder this this plane has a rudder now i'm going to go ahead and just disconnect the battery for now so i don't inadvertently spin the prop and cut my finger so just going to disconnect it for now all right one of the things that i found is that my one of my uh, ailerons was up the other one was kind of more level and more importantly this this rudder here was over to this side here it wasn't straight back you want you want to make sure that everything's as straight as possible to start off with so that was kind of angled off this way this was down this was kind of where it is up um so i did try to straighten everything out as much as i can now what you can do to do that is you could see there's a bend here in this rudder uh control wire that co that connects from the servo here to the rudder and i went ahead and just with with a uh um pliers be careful not to break it and definitely don't break your control your uh control horn off but you can bend this which is what i did is i just bent it to make a sharper z and that got that straight so if this was off to the side the way it was and it was off to the side quite a bit it would have caused this plane to constantly want to turn right like this uh, which would have required a lot of trimming on the L on the aileron to counteract that to level it out so make sure your control surfaces are straight now this uh while these are angled up um here they're level but here they're up um i just wanted to make them both as uh as close to be in the same as possible since they one was up and one was kind of down so i did the same thing over here 
I adjusted these little angle these little angle bends. You can you can twist it to bring bring it shorten up this this uh, 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 rod or uh, control rod, or you can flatten it out and lengthen them and lengthen them. But just make sure that they're both the same. And this is straight back. This right here has its own servo, and I just left that alone. I, I didn't have to really, there isn't really any, well, you can do an adjustment there, but I just left that alone because I, I figured that you can trim the plane so that it trims whatever, um, if this is too high, then, you know, you, you could trim it down so that it's more level, so. All right, so number one, setting it up properly, make sure that you uh, try to make sure that this is going straight back and these are, um, and, and that these are at least level with each other with this straight back. All right. Um, now, once I started flying it, it actually was flying fairly good, fairly trimmed out. I mean, there was definitely some trim that was necessary, but not too bad. I, a lot better than I thought. So one of the things I think that people don't realize unless you're familiar with RC flying if you're a beginner and you're buying this plane uh, which uh, I, I think it's a great plane for a beginner personally um, I know I've read some other people's videos on YouTube saying it's not but maybe it's just because I've been flying for so long but it seemed like it was it has and when you turn when you turn it you let go of the control stick it auto levels so it's kind of like safe technology that horizon hobby and, and spectrum has but uh, when you go into a turn and you let go of the control stick at auto levels not only this way but it all auto levels this way too so that's that's a that's good that's that's good for beginners um so one of the things that that people don't realize is that this actually has the ability once you take it out to the field and you start flying it it has the ability to fine-tune the pitch of the plane and the roll of the plane uh, and that's right here in here these this is normally on an RC transmitter this is normally your adjustment for throttle and this is normally your adjustment for your rudder so this would normally be your rudder adjustment right here right there but neither of these work so the but you do have the adjustment to be able to change the angle of your elevator right here which is this this trim tab right here and your ailerons right here and here with this this is your aileron tabs that is uh that's that's pretty nice that you can do that because then you can fine tune it so that when you let go it flies perfectly straight um so i don't think a lot of people if you're a beginner and you're buying this you probably didn't know that what these are because there's no instruction manual that comes with it which is ridiculous that this company is selling these things and not providing any kind of an instruction manual and the one sheet that does come with it is all in chinese so i'm going to teach you all right so let's say that you are flying this and the plane wants to go this way well you can't really adjust the rudder which would help it fly straight let's say it wants to constantly turn to the left well then counteract the left by pressing your tab to the right your aileron tab to the right so go just give it a couple clicks so there's two three clicks one two three I'm going to put it back because I have this trimmed out, but that's how you would do it. If you were turning to the right while it's in the air, oh, and then when you're trimming, just go ahead and, and throttle it to about 60%. That seems like a nice cruising speed for this, this plane. Um, so if you're turning to the right, then give it a couple clicks to the left. Um, your centered is right here. That long beep means you are perfectly centered. So in other words, if you go, you, you can keep going to the left, but there's your center. So that's perfectly centered right now, which my ailerons were pretty much centered because I had already adjusted these. So um, anyways, you go to the right, 
uh, which is requiring that you push the stick to the left, okay? So if your plane is going to the right and you're pushing the stick to try to level it out and go straight, then that's telling you you need the direction of the stick. You need to push this in that direction. And what it really does is every time you press this, it just barely moves this stick over and then do it again. I mean, if I were to exaggerate, it would be like this. Okay, that's kind of what it's doing there. So if you're having to push, uh, turn your uh, 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 stick to the left to, to get it from going to the right and to level off and to go straight, then get just give it a couple clicks to the left. Okay, and that's it on this one. So hopefully it's not so bad that you get to the end and it's still going right. In my case, mine is pretty much dead on in the center. So there's the center. And of course, if it's going to the left, then you can you could push the stick and you're having to go this way to keep it going straight. Then give it a couple, two, three, four clicks to the right. Mine was pretty much set on in the center there. So I'm just gonna put that back. Uh, let's talk about, we talked about the set, getting the aileron set on the previous uh, clip. All right, let's talk about getting the elevator um, set up. So in my case, um, when I, my, my left and right was pretty good. I think I'm still just dead center on the trim. However, when, uh, however, for me, I did have to adjust the elevator trim because my plane wanted to uh, go up. And so it required that I push the stick forward. Okay, when, when you press the stick forward, you can see what happens to that. That, that causes the back of the plane, it push, the elevator goes down, which air hits that and pushes the plane, pushes the, um, the back tail end of the plane up, which causes the front of the plane to go down. In my case, um, there, was, there wasn't enough uh, elevator um, to counteract the fact that it wanted to climb. So for me to, so what I did is I had to push it up to, to uh, bring the nose down, bring the tail up. Um, I did have to adjust the tabs and let's see how many times. So let's see. So if I, this originally started off in neutral. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's neutral. So for me, I had to keep hitting this one. I'm going, I'm pushing this up. Like I'm pushing the stick forward, which is causing the nose to tail to go up and the nose to go down. Okay, so I went like this. Nope, not enough. That's two. There's another two. That's four. That wasn't enough. That's two more. Still wasn't enough. I was still slightly climbing. And then until I hit seven. Okay, so seven clicks up. Um, got the plane to slowly and then seven clicks up. Got it to fly level. Now, um, that's how you adjust, fine tune the plane when it's in the air. You can adjust the left and right with this tab here. This goes, if it's turning to the right, then you can hit the, the trim tab. Excuse me, if it's turning to the left, you can press the trim tab to the right, two, three, four, five, however many you need to get it to go fly straight and vice versa the other way around. If it's climbing, and the, as the case was with mine, just keep pressing this uh, elevator tab up, which is essentially the same direction of you pressing this joystick forward, which again causes the nose to nose down. Uh, it took me seven clicks to get, get it to fly level. On the other hand, if your plane wants to keep going down and you keep having to pull back on this thing, then hit your trim tabs down to go in the same direction as your joystick. Um, so, uh, so that's pretty much it. Now, in my case, I was didn't have any trimming that necessary on the left and right, but it was definitely required seven clicks forward or up forward if you're like this um, to get it to level out. So, once you do that, the plane actually flies straight it flies true um it does have safe technology built into it 
So, or auto leveling, I should say. Um, if I make a left, it's gonna turn to the left. And if I let go, it's, you can see here, actually probably the best way to see it is it, watch. See that, how, see it, it, the plane is now gonna crash, go like that. You can see these control surfaces move. You can see the rudder move. Uh, if I'm turning this way, the rudder's this way now, want, trying to get the plane to level off. Same is true with this elevator. If it's cl climbing too much, it, it, it's angled down slightly. Not as much down as it is up. If you're nosing down, you can clearly see it's the elevator is now up. So it actually has a very good flight stabilizer in here. With SAFE technology, even though SAFE is a trademark, I believe, of uh, Spectrum, it, it, it does, it, it will auto level. That's the main thing. You can turn, you let go of the, you can turn, let go of the controls, and it will level itself out, providing you've trimmed it properly with this, with this trim tab and that trim tab. Uh, I think that's about it. That's that, we talked about kind of doing some pre-flight trimming, and then we talked about using these trim tabs to get it to fly level, straight, and true. And that's it. Um, is there anything else? Oh, uh, this right here, this button is your lights. And this button here is your stunt or trick button. I have another video where I made this and show you its flight characteristics. It actually flies extremely well. People are complaining it doesn't turn very well, or that it takes a long time to turn. I didn't find that to be the case with mine. It, flew, it it did sharp turns and all. You can see the other video that I published. But uh, this right here is your stunt button. So when you're in the air, make sure that you have a lot of height. When you press the stunt button, and you need to hold it down. And then when you do the roll, it will go ahead and do a roll for you. If you hold this down and you keep rolling, it's going to keep rolling as long as you... Have this held and that over, or that way, depending on which way you're rolling. It'll keep rolling, but I'm gonna warn you. You probably only wanna hold it, do a quick roll. Maybe you do two, two rolls, and that's it. Because every time you roll, it drops, and it drops, and it drops. And in my case, I went ahead and said, well, let's see how many rolls it'll do. Got up high, and I pressed this button, and I did three uh, rolls using the ailerons. And it went wah, 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 and crashed into the ground. Um, so it will roll, but every time you do it, it keeps getting, it keeps going. The, the attitude will go like this and like this, and it'll keep going down until it, until in this case, it hit the ground. Now, the beauty of this is that, well, I don't have a smashed up nose cone, which if this was foam, it would be. It actually just hits all the way back to where the foam is really thick. And it did absolutely no damage. The only damage that it did do is one of the bl the prop blade broke, which is interesting. Um, not certain why. I don't know if this thing bent forward and hit right here, but one of the blades broke off. So I just put uh, the replacement that came with the kit. Um, I put the replacement on there, and I have five. I ordered a five pack from uh, Banggood to uh, uh, have on hand because. I will definitely fly, I will take this with me. I mean, to the flying field where it's just a casual sit in the lawn chair, fly around, relaxing flight. Unlike most of mine that are all very souped up jets and, and planes. This one here, it's like a super cub. It just, you could just chill and fly around. Um, so that's it. I. Uh, this that ought to help you get things perfectly set up and um, and you can check out the other video where I actually have uh, the maiden flight as well as uh, you know demonstrating the the uh, the the stunt button now one of the things I did wasn't able to do because I um, which um, I did do the stunt and then did either push to right or left and it does do a, it will do a roll so it kind of shuts off the the auto stabilizer and it, it, it will execute a roll. One of the things I wasn't able to do because I ended up crashing it on, when I did three rolls in a row is trying to do a loop. I'm sure it will probably do a loop, 
So I'm guessing if you want to do a loop, you just press and hold that and then hold that back. And that will, that will flip around and do a loop. Um, so I'll, I'll have to try that next time I, I hit the field. So anyways, there you go. Hope this helps you.